Well, teamwork, discipline, and responsibility. Those are just a few of the things that the coaches for the Westside Panthers football team are teaching their players. Next Thursday, the team is headed to Atlanta for a big game, and the coaches say it's more than just football. They're trying to school them on the game called life. The Westside Panthers youth football team leaves it all on the field. They practice three days a week, running drills and getting ready for their opponents. Their biggest threat could be idle time. We've been successful in the uh, far as getting the kids, getting a lot of kids involved off the streets because in the neighborhood there's not really too much to do. So this is like the most positive thing. It's like a diamond in the rough. So we got a lot of kids involved and we getting a lot of parents and fathers involved too. So. Robert Moore is the president of the Westside Panthers Youth Sports Association. He says his nonprofit's ultimate goal is to have these kids ready on and off the field. They learn a lot of discipline teamwork, uh, team building. Uh, we work with, you know, building character also, you know what I'm saying? Uh, helping the kids identify who they are. How does it feel being the only girl on the team? It feels good. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Destiny Kelly with the pretty smile and Afro puffs is the only girl on the team. They make you feel good, like Coach Blank, he, he helped me with my offense. He an offense coach. Coach Tony, he helped me block. Coach um, Drew, uh, he like, he called me princess. Ah! Go. They're headed to the Centennial Tournament in Atlanta and the team needs money to get there. Players have been selling raffle tickets, having car washes, and selling bottled water. They also started a GoFundMe page to help make up the difference. We're taking over 100 kids, so the money we raise, it'll pay for our travel, uh, our stay, and food. We want to do some activities down there while we're down there with the kids too. Uh, their GoFundMe goal is like $4,000 and so far they have only raised about 50. You can find a link to their GoFundMe page on my Ryan Houston WCPO Facebook page.